All right, who is ready to start their holiday shopping? The Frayed Feather Holiday Market is coming up this weekend in Dade City, and that is where you will find one-of-a-kind goodies on everything from home decor to unique clothing. And here with the details are Amber McDuffie, the owner of Rustic Pearl, and Jacqueline Hancock, the owner of Frayed Feather Design Company. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. This is what the season is all about, right? Yeah, We're ready to get it. the shopping on. This is so cool. I have not been out here yet. You know, I'm a Pasco County girl. I love uh, promoting all the, the wonderful things in Pasco County. But this is really like kind of a, a limited time thing. Let's start with you because this is your barn. Yes. And uh, give me the idea behind this. Well, it's an old um, World War II airplane hangar. Okay. It's, a, it's out in the hills of Dade City. It's a gorgeous drive. And I open up once a year, mm -hmm. one weekend a year in the fall. I have an interior design degree and I just fill the barn with all kinds of amazing interior finds. That you have literally traveled the country looking yes. for and it's right here in Dade City. Yes. So give us an idea, you brought some of the things in this morning, but what are things that you look for to fill the barn with? Things that I love, I mean okay. I have furniture, I have lighting, I have anything you can think of interior isn't yeah. there. And I should say, it's not necessarily holiday related, but you do like to open in the, I'm sure, with people, right. the, the gift buying and everything mm -hmm. that goes on this time well, of year. Well, fall is my favorite time of yeah. year, so that's kind of the theme. And then we have some holiday items, Christmas items as well. Okay, good deal. Rustic Pearl is going to be a part of it uh, yeah. this year for the first time as well, which your store in San Antonio. Talk a little bit about your store and what you're going to be offering there, because I love, again, it's just very kind of unique stuff and brands that people love too. Yes, yes. I have a lot of different brands. Um, I'll be doing La Grand Jewelry, which which is a, um, they're normally freshwater pearls. Okay. So this is just a little sample of one. And then I have the bourbon and bow ties, of course, yes. which a lot of people love that name. And then we're gonna be featuring this new item. Um, it's called Canoe and it's all leather handmade items that we're gonna be having out there. Cool. Um, and then my seamstress embroiderer that I have, she hand makes these little they're baby outfits. Girls. They're so cute. We have boys and girls <laughs> and these are just some little Pants with a matching here, hat. I'll, let me has. show this to the photographer here. <laughs> so Jordan cute. Over. Look how cute. They're and you so do sweet. have boy stuff. Because I'm do always have telling you we need more cute boy clothing. I know. So we do have some boy stuff coming how in cute as well. Is that? Tell me a little bit about Dade City. And I feel like now, if people have not made the trip out there, and you already mentioned how beautiful that drive beautiful. is out to the barn, but yeah. talk about what Dade City has to offer. I mean, the restaurants now, I feel like it's a really a hot spot now. It's kind of a hidden gem, I think. Yeah. It's charming. Not so hidden anymore. I feel like more no, people are finding out, though. I know. <laughs> but it's coming our way <laughs> with the lagoon and all of that. Yeah. It's definitely coming our way. But um, San Ann still has that small town feeling yeah. with the small restaurants and stuff like that. But Dade City is definitely growing up. Yep. I know they have a lot of cool restaurants too. Yeah. Girls, thank you so much for coming in today. Good luck again. We'll put all the details on our website, but I love uh, supporting again kind of local business owners and uh, beautiful Pasco County. Yes, thank you. Thank you.